Hi everyone, Cheeky Tan here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to John, I'm going to be doing another American taste test. So let's get started. I'm also going to be trying some dipping sauces that go with chicken. Oops. Let's start off with some Calbee Harvest Snaps Baked Red Lentil Snacks. They're crunchy loops. Kickin' barbecue, gluten-free. Dig in, veg out. Veggies are always the number one ingredient. No artificial flavors or preservatives and they're baked, so that's good. They're in the no-fry zone. Have a good look at those loops in there. Give you a closer look. Oh. Mmm. Oh, really good. They've got a nice smokiness to them. They're super crunchy. They've got a bit of a garlic flavor in there though. I can taste that straight up. The texture's good. The flavor is good. Definitely a crunchy, salty snack I would eat again. We don't get these ones here, but they are delicious. Why don't we get these? Because we get Harvest Snaps, but we why don't we get these? Anastasia's Coconut Island Coconut Cashew Crunch. Last time I had the ones with the drizzle of chocolate of it, but these ones don't have it. They're handmade in copper kettles, premium cashews, shredded coconut, butter and brown sugar, and sea salt. There it is, product of America. They're made in Orlando, Florida. Have a look. Beautiful little crunchy squares there. And oh my goodness me, doesn't that look amazing? Mm. Lovely. Mm. It says on the back here, it transports you into your own personal island getaway. I wouldn't go that far, but they are delicious. You got that beautiful coconut and they're super crunchy. The texture is so good. These are from Fresh Gourmet and they're sweet butter cornbread croutons. They've got theirs on a salad. I'm not going to be making a salad. I'm just going to be eating them out of the bag. I mean, I could make it. No, I can't be bothered. Quick salad shopping guide. Let's you know how to shop and make a salad. Romaine, lettuce, spinach, kale. You can make it sweet. You can put berries and stuff in it. I don't really have fruit in salads very much. Let me know in the comments below if you like cornbread. Give you a closer look. Nice and fluffy looking. Wow. No, texture wise they're really good. They've got a lovely crunch to them. I don't know about the flavor. The flavor, well there's not a lot of flavor to them. They're basically like a corn mealy sort of, it's like a very plain unsalted, bread that's been dried it's not like a normal bread though so it's sort of i don't know it's almost a little bit gritty i have to say but i suppose it would work well on a salad that's why you put it with a salad and that's why they've got a crouton and put it with a salad on the cover so don't eat them like this okay like they're okay and i do like the crunchy texture to them and i can see why they would work nicely on a salad but not really by themselves. So yeah, have them on a salad, everyone. Time for a beverage break. And today I have an M Mio Vitamins drink. The flavor is Orchard Apple. I guess it's more of a green apple. That's why it's a green color. I like red apples better than green apples. Let me know what your preference is in the comments below. I always find green apples to be very tart and very probably reflecting back on my days at school when my mum would just buy green apples obviously the cheapest or something or what was around I'm about to tell you a horror story of when I was a little girl I don't want you to judge me but then also judge me if you will when I was in primary school there was a very popular girl I went to school with and there was casting a play we did a play of Snow White of course this super popular girl got the part of Snow White I got the witch I got the ugly wicked witch <laughs> because of the laugh. Why am I surprised? Anyway, she teased me relentlessly in the playground and said, ha ha, you're the ugly old witch. They picked you for the witch because you're so ugly. She went on and on and on. And I was really quite a weird child. <laughs> Why does this not surprise you? I casually just said to her, when it comes to the scene where the wicked witch hands over the poisonous apple, it's really going to be poisonous. She cried. She went to the teachers. I got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was a little bit evil of me to do this, but you know, I was just, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Is that horrid? Am I a horrible person? Probably. I was resolved. The play went ahead and I got to play the Wicked Witch and I was actually pretty good at playing a Wicked Witch. Once again, you're not surprised, are you? So let's try this drink. It says tear open. Oh, that doesn't work well at all. Oh, I got it. Squirt a little bit in. Oh! little bit more. Does that look all right? How many squirts do you put in? I'm just going to guesstimate it. It says that it's got 24 drinks in here. Cheers. Oh, I like 
that very much it needs to be a bit stronger but I can taste that beautiful apple flavor and it's nice and sweet it's not bitter looks an interesting color doesn't it I mean I guess that's the color of apple juice isn't it why am I surprised mmm it's lovely and fruity and refreshing and I'm really enjoying that it tastes like a little bit like a watered down apple juice but it's nice very nice mmm I mean, you're probably wondering why wouldn't I just get apple juice, but then it's not as sweet as apple juice. I do like apple juice, but I have it very, very rarely because it is so sweet. This is a really nice drink. Yeah, pasta roni, and the flavor is butter garlic. Now you do this in the microwave, make it a meal. Try adding grilled chicken, blah, 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 broccoli. Yeah, you could, but I'm just gonna heat it up as it is. Just add water and microwave for three minutes. So I'm just gonna quickly microwave this. Take the top off and oh, what's that bit about? Oh. Is that flavoring? <laughs> read it, read it. So I fill it to this line, but then that little sachet I add in afterwards. That's what it tells me. And it tells me I'm gonna see loose white powder in here. And that's okay, apparently. You put the water in, then you give it a quick stir around, put in the microwave, put this in, stir it around, and then I'm gonna eat it. Here it is, fresh out of the microwave. Take the lid off, the powder in. It goes. And give it a bit of a mix around it smells very garlicky there's my pasta does that look all right i can see little bits of herbs in there maybe that's onions not really sure butter and garlic hey well who doesn't love butter oh people who can't have dairy oh yeah Oh, the flavor in this is pretty good I have to admit I can really taste how buttery it is it's quite a bit of garlic in there but I'm loving that butteriness to it that's really doing it for me and the pasta itself is cooked quite well it's quite al dente which a lot of these things when you do them in the microwave usually they just like go into mush but this isn't the texture of this one's good mm. oh yeah I like it very nice and you can easily turn that into a meal I can see how you can just put some broccoli and other bits in it and voila a meal very quick very easy and very delicious yeah let's continue with the meal theme I've got two dipping sauces up next I actually have a third one here this is one that actually exploded on the way here so that's really disappointing but anyway this is from Arby's it's spiced buffalo sauce which actually sounds really delicious I mean I put this in the fridge as soon as it arrived and everything even though it had exploded should I be tasting it oh, I I don't really know this one's from market side chicken dipping sauce and the flavor is it just says ready to eat that's not a flavor and this one's from chick-fil-a and it's a barbecue sauce we don't have chick-fil-a here either is that a place that serves a lot of chicken now I've just grab my chicken and let's try these market side one. Oh, look at that color smells a little bit vinegary and mustardy oh hey, let's have a look at this barbecue one yes there it is here's my chicken to dip and here's my dipping sauces try the marketplace one first mm, oh that's nice mm. it's a lovely rich sauce got a nice flavor of mustardness in there and there's also a little bit of smokiness as well mm. I love that marketplace sauce. Oh, market side. I don't know why I'm keep calling it marketplace. But what's market side anyway? Market side, I don't know if that's an actual restaurant, a chain restaurant, or if it's from the markets. <laughs> Delicious sauce, and I would definitely eat this again. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this one before. Yum. Let's try the barbecue one from Chick fil A. Mmm. Yeah, it's got that lovely smokiness that barbecue sauce should have. Like a nice richness to the sauce as well. I mean, this is definitely a good quality barbecue sauce. Um, mm. It's smoky, but it's not like that deep, rich smokiness that you usually get in a barbecue sauce. But I'm still enjoying it very much. But this one is my favorite. Now let's have a look at this one here, even though it's busted up. Actually, most of it's still in here. It's actually only leaked a little bit and it is pretty much... See, I'm going to try it, okay? I know it's risky. If you don't see me again, you'll know. Okay, this one is Arby Spicy Buffalo Sauce. Yeah, no, it's uh, pretty full. Whoops. But I think it should be all right. How spicy is this going to be? Whoa! Mmm! Wow! It's a lovely spicy sauce. It is quite hot. There's an underlying flavor in here, which I'm not really quite sure what it is. What is that? I know it. 
Mmm! Is it tamarind? I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments below. You'll know if you've heard this before and what it is. That spicy flavor is not just like a chili spicy. I swear it's like a tamarind flavor. Wow, it is hard to pick a favorite out of these sauces. I'm oh, I don't know. It really is between these two. I think this one is winning, but this one I love it because it's so unique and I would definitely have both of these again. The barbecue sauce is nice as well, but it is, it's just a fairly basic but good barbecue sauce. Very nice. Yum. Next up, I have a bar mix and this one is from Imperial Nuts and it's sweet and savory bar mix. You get honey roasted peanuts, pretzels, flavored almonds, there's toffee peanuts and there's also spicy peanuts in this mix. So it's a really good mix. It's interesting that all of these things are together all in one. I dropped the scissors that landed like this on my lap, but luckily I didn't manage to stab myself. So that's a good day for me. Have a little look in the bag there. Wow, so many things. Now oh, what's that? Mmm, that's lovely and sweet and crunchy. It's got like a sugary coating on the outside, like a toffee coating. Pretzel. Mmm. Oh, spicy peanut almond. Mm -hmm. That's a lovely savoury almond. Somewhere in here is supposed to be honey roasted peanut. No. I mean, I'm having fun finding it though. Hang on. Got it. Mmm, that's good too. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, stop me. Honestly, these are really good because there's a saltiness to them and then suddenly you get this pop of sweetness from the honey roasted peanut and then that toffee coated peanut as well. And then crunch, you get a pretzel. So it really works in quite nicely together. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily think that a toffee peanut's going to work with some spicy peanuts, but it does. And the spice level on them isn't extremely hot, so it works really well. That nice balance of salty and sweet, delicious. Hers, honey roasted cashews. Oh, oh yeah, you can see they're really glazed looking. Mmm, oh they're good. Got a lovely coating on the outside there. It's almost like a toffeed honey coating. They're super sweet, good consistency, good flavor. These ones are a winner. Lay's Stacks, and these are cheddar flavor. You can't go wrong with a cheddar flavor. I do love cheesy chips. Do they look really cheddary? Oh yeah, they do. They look pretty good. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's a lovely savory cheddar crisp chip. And it's interesting though that there's always flavor more so on one side than the other. It must be something to do with the way they actually make them. That always means to me that I have to eat it this way around, even though it all gets mushed up in your mouth, I know. But for me, I have to eat it this way around. Huh? The correct way to eat them, isn't it? Lovely, savory, cheesy, yum. Dove Silky Smooth Almond Brittle Milk Chocolate. Almond Brittle! See, I saw that and I just thought, yeah, almond chocolate. It's going to be nice. But now that I know that it's almond brittle, that has just brought it up to there for me. A little bit broken. Is there an easy way to open this one? Yeah. We're having issues. Oh, see, I nearly lost the whole thing. Right. So there you can see it's been a little bit melted, but it's still good to go. So it's a milk chocolate, as you can see, and there's little tiny, tiny bits of brittle broken up within it. Hmm. Oh, you know, I just put my finger on the lid on the sauce. Oh, sorry, that didn't. No, that's not the wrong finger. <laughs> It's a good quality chocolate. Lovely and smooth. I really love my chocolate, right? And I can see myself going, um, 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 and eating this one too quickly. It's really difficult for me because I have those nights where I go, I'm not going to eat chocolate tonight. And um, I don't know what happens, but ultimately I do. I do eat chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> the brittle itself is nicely placed throughout the chocolate. You don't get big chunks of it. They're little tiny flecks of it, but it works quite nicely. That way, when you bite into it and stuff, too much of the toffee stuff doesn't get stuck in your teeth. And you just go, mm, 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 and, and, and you eat eat your chocolate. Good quality chocolate. Love it. Thank you so much, John, for sending all these amazing American treats. I really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank John, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.